Hey guys, Apple SDK Dev here today. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to turn a regular ordinary button into an info button. So first thing we're going to need to do, open up your Xcode and break out any kind of file. After you're there, open up your view controller, and once you're here, we're just going to go down here, get a round rec button, place it in the screen. Just for purposes, we'll just name it, uh, let's go with just a test. Then what we're going to do is, We'll just save that and go on into our viewcontroller.m. Once you get here, the first thing you're going to have to do is type in at synthesize, and then you're going to type in the name of the button. So in my case, button how to play. That's a common name for a button. Then you're going to hit enter twice, and this is what you're going to type in dash, and then IB action button clicked how to play. Make sure it's spelled exactly the way it is spelled above. Then put one of these guys and type in exactly what I've typed in here. Now in this space right here, you can be able to type in whatever you want. In this case, let's just do test, test, test. Look, at, that's really what it is. Um, right here where it says instructions, and well, right here. You're going to have to just type in anything that you want the head little header to be. So let's just say sample header. Over here, when you write it, let's just press dismiss. So this is the button you're going to press to make the screen go away. So once you've typed type in this all in, you hit save. Last thing we got to just do an at end. And that's how we end our thing. Then once you save it, you can close it. You'll be able to go back to your view controller. Now that you're here, highlight your button, go over to the new referencing outlet, drag that to Files Owner. You can click How to Play because that's what you named it. But you're not just done yet. You have to go to Touch Up Inside, drag that one to First Responder, and click Also, button click How to Play. Once you've done that, save it, go back to your project, and click Build and Run. Now that you're here, if you press test, your button should pop up, just like this. So, sample header, test, 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 dismiss. Exactly the way we did it before. Now, I know that was a little hard to follow, especially with the coding part, saying that I just copied and pasted from an old project. So be sure to go back and make sure you did it exactly the way it said it. Because one text wrong, and it will mess up the whole thing. If you found this video helpful, please press subscribe, uh, rate it five stars, and um, just give me some feedback. Thanks a lot. Uh, check out our website, wayofmath.com. Thank you very much.